now, LOTS Pool Media, make sure you guys are sharing this podcast. This is episode number 60. We up 2,000 subscribers. We up 2,000. We did it together. You guys make sure that you're sharing this podcast, all right? That part. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Swell up. That part. Make sure you guys are sharing this podcast for me. Don't be a ninja watcher. That's the person that be creeping and watching. Don't be no pocket watcher. That's just a hater. And you definitely don't want to be one of these, y'all. That's a peeping time. A, a looky, looky, rubber neck and peeping time. And y'all know what they do to peeping times in jail. So don't go to jail if you're a peeping time. All right? Make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing on YouTube. A lot of you guys should be watching this from YouTube. We got to get our YouTube numbers up, y'all. Imagine if we all we all was on one line, one accordance. Imagine what we could accomplish. You see, we already accomplished 2,000 subscribers. You see what we did. We just got to be on one accord with each other. All right, we need to push this. We're doing this together. This is the, pro- this is the, the power of, of, uh, of strength in numbers, all right? Coming together. This is the power of it. Anytime you come, some, come together, I don't deal with co- competition. I'd rather collaborate than compete, all right? It's that, that's how I rock. So you guys, make sure when you come in the building, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. Make sure you guys are sharing this podcast, all right? Moving right along. Now, I want to give a shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. Now, you guys know I'm usually hard on Megan Thee Stallion, even with that whole Tory Lanez case, right? Ever since the inception of Megan Thee Stallion, I I always feel like Megan Thee Stallion was overrated. I felt personally that Megan Thee Stallion was overrated, but I think I was wrong. And I noticed that with Meg Thee Stallion, with Meg Thee Stallion, I got to apologize to Meg Thee Stallion. All right. That's why sometimes you can't base somebody off their first acquaintance, off your first acquaintance. All right. They said first impression is usually a lasting impression, but sometimes that's off of ignorance. People have way more to offer than that first impression. Sometimes you can count somebody out off a first impression. Try not to count people out off of that first impression. You don't know if somebody's having a bad day. All right. And that's what I did with Megan Thee Stallion. Now, Megan Thee Stallion has a new song called Cobra. You guys go on YouTube, uh, go on YouTube and check out Megan Thee Stallion's new song. Meg Thee Stallion is not talking about twerking on this song for once. Meg Thee Stallion is actually, she's lyrical. She's actually, she has content. Would you believe Meg Thee Stallion has content? She has more to offer than just twerking. Would you believe? Now, to uh, to Meg Thee Stallion's defense, she spoke about a lot of things. She addressed a lot of things in her new song. Like I said, go on YouTube and look at Meg Thee Stallion's new song, Cobra. She spoke about how she was down bad. Meg Thee Stallion spoke about how she misses her parents. You know, her, I think her mother passed away. So when you guys see Meg Thee Stallion, how she's carrying herself in the industry, keep in mind, she doesn't have that guidance. She don't have her mama in her life. That's a woman that's lost. So a lot of times that we judge her, we judge her Meg Thee Stallion unfairly, right? Sometimes I have low tolerance for her, so I had to learn, dog. I got to learn to have compassion for people, even me. I have to learn to have compassion for people. That's one of my goals in life, to have more compassion for people, because sometimes my faith in mankind... It, it it grows it grows weary, all right? It's a wobbler. I don't have a lot of faith in mankind, but I still have to have compassion for people because I'm a human being also. And if you want to be forgiven, you got to forgive people. So nonetheless, Meg Thee Stallion has a new song called Cobra, and that song is fire. She's talking in depth about her life. Lyrically, she's she's coming with it. And the song, the aesthetics, when you look at the video, the Cobra, Meg Thee Stallion got a fly video. Y- y'all go ahead and go check it out, man. I'm going to give her flowers because I'm always, I'm always attacking Meg Thee Stallion, to be honest with you, since that... Since that Tory Lanez, uh, uh, that whole Tory Lanez debacle. But Meg Thee Stallion doesn't deserve that, so I have to apologize to Meg Thee Stallion, all right? Meg Thee Stallion is actually a great artist, to be honest with you. Meg Thee Stallion didn't make, the way, she didn't make it to where she's at without being a great artist. So shout out to Meg Thee Stallion and her new song, Cobra, all right? Let's clap it up for once more. Facts. Now, moving right along. Now, you guys, you guys familiar with the song, uh, the artist, this girl artist, and we're sticking with the ladies, all right? So this is a segue to another girl artist. She goes by the name of Lotto. She used to go by the name of Mulatto, but she had to drop the Mulatto because they said that's derogative, right? You know how these sound. This is cancel culture. You got to watch your mouth nowadays. They watching everything. So Lotto, Lotto actually posted a picture on Instagram. Now, this is rare. That's why I gotta clap it up. I gotta clap it up for Lotto. All right, we're gonna give us, we're gonna give her praise. We're gonna give Lotto her flowers. Now, Lotto, if you guys don't know, Lotto's dating Mr. Uh, Twenty One Savage. All right, the kid with the knife, the knife on his forehead. 
Now, this relationship was on a low, but it seems like now they're comfortable with people finding out about their relationship. And Lotto was about to post this picture. Lotto was about to post a picture on Instagram, right? Now, most women now, when they're posting pictures on Instagram, I don't think that they ask their men uh, uh, their opinion of the picture. I don't think most women ask their men their opinion on pictures, nor do industry women, right? I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I'm not right all the time. But nonetheless, Lotto, she was dressed provocative, and Lotto had a, she wanted to put a picture up on IG. And Lotto did something that's rare in these days and times. Lotto is rare. She's rare. And I'm liking Lotto even more and more. It seems like Lotto has class. Lotto has class. Lotto actually, she asked 21 Savage, is this, uh, is this picture okay to post? You guys need to go to Lotto, go to uh, Lotto's page on Instagram. I think she's a model for Fendi. Uh, Fendi, I think that's a Fenty. I think that's a, uh, who's that? That's, who's that? What's, what's, uh, what's the name? What's the name? What's, what's ASAP Rocky's um, girl? Rihanna. How can I forget? Excuse me, Rihanna. The, the sexiest woman on the planet. How can I forget? Okay. Uh, Rihanna has a line called Fenty. And I think that Lotto was modeling for the line. Now, Lotto is dressed in some type of uh, lace, lingerie, what have you, a bra and, and panties. And she puts this picture up on IG. But the picture is a bit provocative. But this is the this is the, the this is the part that I that I like. This is the part that I respect. She actually made sure she contacted 21 Savage before she actually posted the picture. She has dec decency. Lotto has respect. Lotto has class. And Lotto has won my respect, all right? Because she asked her man before she even posted that picture. So shout out to Lotto. All right. Big up to Lotto. Now, we're not going to stay too long on that. Moving right along. You guys, make sure you guys hit that comment section as soon as you come in the building. Make sure you guys are hitting like it. Make sure you guys are sharing this podcast, okay? Moving right along. Listen, man. Let's talk about it. Hold up. Let's talk about it. Your man's um, Burner Boy. Shout out to Burner Boy. Big up to Burner Boy. All right, you guys. Burner Boy is an Afrobeats artist out of England. We probably, everybody knows him. Uh, uh. Hey, yo. Hey, hey, hey. You know how that song goes. Now, Burner Boy was supposed to be performing in Dubai. 